Good afternoon. On behalf of Colonel Clinton Wilson, 317th Operations Group Commander, I would like to welcome you to the Bronze Star Medal Ceremony with Lieutenant Colonel Brandon Troyer. I am Chief Master Sergeant Trevor Smith, and I will be your narrator. We appreciate everyone joining us for this significant event. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of the official party. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. I would like to introduce some of our distinguished guests in attendance today. Please hold your applause until all are introduced. Thank you. The 317th Airlift Wing Commander, Colonel Greg Young. And uh, everybody else is uh, otherwise doing something. We would also like to welcome all other commanders, chiefs, superintendents, and first sergeants that could not be with us today. We are especially pleased to have with us Lieutenant Colonel Schroyer's family, his wife Catherine, and their children, Vera, Caroline, and Trey. <laughs> Finally, we would like to welcome all of the families, friends, our own Hazard Airmen, and fellow Team Dias Warriors that have joined us virtually for this special occasion. The Bronze Star Medal dates back to World War II. Today, it is the fourth highest ranking award a service member can receive for a heroic and meritorious deed performed in an armed conflict. For those who receive the Bronze Star, it is a sign of their sacrifice, bravery, and honor while serving their country. At this time, I would like to introduce Colonel Clint Wilson to provide remarks about the medal. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for being here. Uh, special thanks to the Schroyer family. Really appreciate uh, you guys coming out today. And uh, I know that awards like this are not possible just on the backs of one person, as you know, Colonel Schroyer. So. Um, appreciate everybody coming out. I also appreciate the family that's dialed in. I think uh, Colonel Schroyer's mother and father, uh, mother-in-law, and other family members are also dialed in. So uh, thank you for, for joining us virtually today. Uh, I do foresee a day where we'll be able to do this in a packed auditorium at some point, but uh, that day is not today, so we'll continue to do this uh, uh, virtually. Welcome to all the group commanders, wing commanders, uh, squadron commanders, deputies, chiefs, appreciate you guys coming out. Um, Chief talked a little bit about the, uh, the Bronze Star and the fact that it's only awarded in combat. Uh, so Colonel Schroyer and I found it fitting that we would wear our combat uniforms today for this ceremony. Um, another fun fact about the Bronze Star is, is that it's, uh, it started in the, in the mid 40s, a, a colonel named Red Reader. Um, actually devised it and called it the ground medal. And it was supposed to be the equivalent to the air medal, but for ground duty. And so I find that fitting today because uh, while Colonel Schroyer did his fair share of, of flying on that deployment, I can tell you that he spent the preponderance of his time on the ground. And additionally, um, the preponderance of his airmen that were there were maintainers. And, uh, and so the ground medal We'll pin that on you today. Um, Colonel Schroyer did some great work out there, and I'll let the uh, let the reading of the citation kind of cover that. Um, but as you guys know, it's about a five month plus deployment uh, due to COVID nineteen, and so um, pretty challenging times. And he and I had a lot of conversations during his deployment, but he was always reaching back, taking care of families, even from the deployed environment, to make sure that they had what they needed, uh, whether it was child care or grocery runs or, or other things. And so really inspiring to, to have a guy that's, that's working 16 and 18 hour days, continue to reach back um, across multiple time zones to, to take care of families and others that are concerned about their loved ones that are deployed, but also those that are deployed concerned about their loved ones 
back home because of the unknowns that COVID-19 brought. So I appreciate what you did. I appreciate what the leadership team did, both on, on not only the 40th, but Blue AMU um, throughout the entire deployment. So I'll just take the opportunity to say that I'm very proud of you, Brandon. I appreciate the work that you did, um, and we'll recognize that here today. All right? That's all I've got. Thank you, Colonel Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the presentation of the Bronze Star Medal. Attention to orders. Citation to accompany the award of the Bronze Star Medal to Lieutenant Colonel Brandon R. Schroyer. Lieutenant Colonel Brandon R. Schroyer distinguished himself by meritorious achievement as Commander, 774th Expeditionary Airlift Squadron, 405th Air Expeditionary Group, 455th Air Expeditionary Wing, Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan, while engaged in operations against an enemy of the United States from 11 January to 15 May 2020. During this period, while deployed in support of Operation Freedom Sentinel and the Resolute Support Mission, despite personal exposure to significant risk of hostile action from 34 indirect fire attacks, he led 157 airmen across 25 functional areas and the continuous operation of six C-130J aircraft in Afghanistan's only airlift squadron. His squadron delivered a 99% mission success rate for 2,740 sorties that reduced the cargo backlog in Afghanistan to the lowest level in three years, closed three forward operating bases, and accelerated the Resolute Support Tactical Reset Withdrawal Timeline 15% by airlifting 955 tons of cargo and over 3,000 redeploying United States personnel. Under Iranian ballistic missile threat, he postured his squadron for emergency launch procedures to ensure survival and mission continuity of his airmen and a $420 million C-130J fleet. During a subsequent base defense exercise, his squadron validated the survival launch plan and shattered the alert to airborne timeline by 33% and integrated lessons learned into a comprehensive checklist to increase airfield attack survivability in the ever tense region. Lieutenant Colonel Schroyer's squadron incorporated 85 maintenance and eight security forces personnel creating a self-sustaining combat airlift unit with 145% increased squadron manpower and resources under his command. Furthermore, as the first ever C-130J commander of both operations and maintenance, he led his aircraft maintenance unit through a C-130 fleet-wide safety time compliance technical order and kept all six of his aircraft fully mission capable through the 35-day maintenance period, preventing the loss of 50 sorties and the airlift of roughly 600 tons of cargo and 975 passengers. Finally, he provided key airlift expertise to develop the Resolute Support COVID-19 Pandemic Aeromedical Evacuation Channel Strategy to ensure the safety and security of 48,000 Coalition personnel. The exemplary leadership, personal endeavor, and devotion to duty displayed by Colonel Schroyer in this responsible position reflect great credit upon himself and the United States Air Force. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce Lieutenant Colonel Brandon Schroyer. All right, first off, I just want to say thank you, uh, Colonel Young, Colonel Van Bush, and our Colonel Wilson, uh, Chiefs, and, uh, and all my friends, uh, and the crowd virtually, uh, for being here. I appreciate your guys' time uh, coming out to. A uh, small ceremony for one person, for one award, uh, it's, it's incredibly important to me and my family, so thank you guys for being here. Uh, next, I want to say thank you uh, to all of the uh, men and women of the 774 EAS. Uh, none of this is possible, and our amazing uh, deployment would not have been, a po have been possible um, without the uh, hard work, initiative, 
uh, and professionalism of everyone that deployed with us. Um, we had a lot of unique opportunities uh, that you heard in the decoration, um, and this is by far the most um, proud thing that I have done in my Air Force career, is take out uh, the squadron and a, a AMU that we took out there and did exactly what we were asked to do, and then were thrown in all sorts of curveballs with uh, integrating a squadron and an Iranian threat and a global pandemic and everything else. Uh, specifically, I just wanted to thank my uh, leadership team. So on the op side, uh, my DO, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Skid Dunlap, uh, my senior enlisted, Senior Skidmore, and my shirt, Johnny Epps. Uh, and then on the maintenance side, uh, my OIC, Jason Story, um, and then uh, Senior Peters as the uh, senior enlisted, along with our uh, four-person uh, production team of uh, Master Sergeant Edder, Beck, Carter, and McCray that uh, really taught me a lot about maintenance, uh, and especially in the deployed environment. Uh, and the last thing I wanted to say was thank you to my family. Uh, when we departed, we all thought this was going to be a normal, deploy normal deployment. Um, and I don't think anyone fully appreciates how hard it was for our spouses and our families while we were gone. Uh, I don't know of many other deployments where every spouse that had kids in school had all of their kids thrown back into their lap. Uh, a month and a half into the deployment and had to figure out how to homeschool on top of not having their spouse with them. Uh, we also had a little dude who turned one year old um, and that is incredibly difficult and so <laughs> as seen by this demonstration by him. Uh, so thank you guys very much. Thank you girls very much. Uh, for helping mom while I was gone on my deployment. Alright, I love you guys, and I couldn't have done it without you. That's all I got. I appreciate you guys coming out today, uh, and, uh, and I appreciate everyone that was out there on the deployment. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. Please remain standing for the departure of the official party. Thank you all for attending and making this significant ceremony possible.